guys, James with Jetty USA and Esprit Model. Today I'm going to talk a little bit with you about how to use the Jetty Box emulator, how to find the emulator, and the fact that it's there at all. A lot of people get a lot of calls at the shop, um, people trying to set up Mesin ESC or different telemetry sensors, and they say, well, nobody ever told me I had to buy a Jetty Box. And so long as you're a Jetty radio user, you've already got a DS or DC radio, you have a Jetty Box with you all the time. You can access that by hitting menu, scrolling down to our applications menu and selecting it. And then you'll see data analyzer, audio player, then Jetty Box. Go ahead and click on Jetty Box. Uh, the first thing it shows you is transmitter. There are four, the four function keys, function keys one through four at the bottom of the screen uh, become your navigational arrows. Uh, so it tells you that the menu goes down, so you press down. Notice that the transmitter is a DS type transmitter. Gives you my transmitter or, and my receiver electronic serial number. It tells you what firmware version is on the transmitter. And then it goes on to some of the information inherent in the radio itself. But if you press and hold the up arrow, it will always take you back to the main screen. We're going to go ahead and press the right arrow. That takes us into the receiver, and we're bound up currently to a receiver. So we'll go ahead and press down. shows that we're dealing with a duplex R9EX, which is correct. If you scroll through, we have pairing, which we don't want to do at this time. We're going to go ahead and scroll past that. Here's my ESN, my electronic serial numbers again. And then we get into our receiver, or R9EX, firmware version 3.13. And if this was your receiver, I would tell you, definitely do the update to 3.24. Now I'm going to go ahead and back through that menu again. Uh, we're going to go all the way back, and we're going to press down. You notice we go into measure. Now what we want to do is I want to show you the settings menu. So if you go to RX, you press down twice, it takes you into the main settings menu for your receiver. Uh, you go down, and you see your fail-safe setups are there our signal fault delay, our voltage alarms, all those things that are going on. If you run a battery and you're typically running, uh, let's say, 3.8, 3.9 volts of cell, so your alarm is always screaming at you, here's one place that you can find that legacy alarm to change that. To change that, you simply use the arrows that are indicated left and right to lower or raise that legacy voltage. So we're going to go ahead and jump out of that. We'll go down to the next one, our output period settings. All of the settings that, that can be found in the Device Explorer can also be found in the Jetty Box emulator. Emulator deals with devices that aren't typically on uh, Device Explorer, so they deal with the Mesin ESCs and quite a few of our telemetry sensors, which I'll go ahead and jump out of the receiver. We'll Press right one more time to MX. MX is any of your accessories, which would be your ESCs or, or telemetry devices. We're going to press down and see if we can uh, connect to any device. I don't believe this MUI is a device that we're going to be able to connect to. Uh, doesn't look like we are. Uh, but if you were using Mesin ESC, you would simply press the, the go to the MX, press down. It would show you that Mesin ESC. And then you could navigate through the program menus for setting up your uh, telemetry off of the mesin, setting up your parameters. If, say, if you're running a helicopter and you want to run your gearing so you can get the correct RPM, all of that is done through the Jetty Box emulator. If you have any questions about this or, or need any more information on Jetty Box emulator, reach out to us at JettyUSA or Again, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.